Hi everyone. Good evening all. So today we are going to understand how to match the performance of an electrical machine with the performance of an internal combustion engine. So this matching of electrical machine, which is nothing but an power train one with power train two, which is nothing but IC engine. So this matching plays an important role in the design of an electric vehicle. So now coming to the matching. So there are, so you can see this uh, type of gauge system, how to match IC engine with electric motor. So there are three varieties of matching the performance of an IC engine with an electric motor. First one is epicyclic or planetary gear set. So by using this epicyclic or planetary gear set, we are going to match the performance of an electric motor with an internal combustion engine to construct an hybrid electric vehicle. So how to match? Let's try to see here. Okay. And this is possible with this gear set. Second one is possible with continuous variable transition. So this is called continuous variable transmission CVT. Okay. In shortcut, we call this as CVT. Next one, so generally this CVT is used in scooters like uh, what we have this um, Honda Make, Activa, Pleasure from Hero Make. So these are automatic gear transmission, it's called scooters, where we use continuously variable transmission system, we call it as a auto gear system. Okay. So that is also possible. So third is nothing but the toroidal variator. Okay. So toroidal variator. Okay. Sir, so what is the purpose of this uh, toroidal variator? So this gains more popularity in small two wheelers or small vehicles like two wheelers. And this gains popularity in passengers' cars and vans. Okay. So here, let's try to see how we are matching. So when you come to this uh, matching of electrical machine with an IC engine to construct an hybrid electric vehicle, here we are going to use three gear system. The inner gear system is called sun gear. Okay. Or since it's present in the center, we call this as a a center gear and this sun gear is connected to the ring gear with the help of a mechanism called as a planetary gear set or carrier gear and here you are going to give if you take here you are going to give the input you can collect the output here okay or you can have two input single output okay so by using this central gear or sun gear the torque is transmitted to the ring gear with the help of carrier gear the outer gear is called as ring gear the center gear is called as planetary gear and this ring gear is also called as annular gear annular gear so diagrammatically i can show here the center one is called sun gear the gear which connects sun gear to the ring gear is called planetary gear and outer gear is called ring gear. So what is the purpose of this uh, gear system? I already told uh, the purpose of this planetary gear set or epicyclic gear set is to match the performance of an electric motor with the performance of an ICE. So here you can take uh, this as input 1 and here you can take this ring gear as input 2. So this may be an due to internal combustion engine. This may be due to an electric motor if you take like a hybrid electric vehicle this ic gear and electric vehicle gear are electrically coupled 
in the case of the parallel hybrid vehicle these two may be parallelly coupled result friendly output is taken at a carrier gear so you can give two inputs and you can take one output so those kind of interconnection or the match the we can match the electric vehicle speed and ic engine speed with the help of this gearing mechanism which is called planetary gear set you can visualize it here more clear so sun gear is the center gear planetary gear is the carrier gear ring gear is the outer gear originally it assembles like this so the center gear is called sun gear and this is called carrier gear and outer one is called ring gear so this is what the purpose of this gear system how to match the performance of an electric vehicle we can connect to one gear and electric motor we can connect electric motor we can connect to one gear and ic engine we can connect to one more gear and we can take it as output next one the popular thing how we can take two inputs and one more input is nothing but continuous variable transmission so here in this continuous variable transmission here you can see here so here we have an driving pulley as well as drive on pulley so there is an pulleys which are going to pull each other okay what is the purpose of these pulleys is you can see here it is a road it is having lower speed so this is nothing but driven i mean this is nothing but connected to the original motor and this driving pulley is connected to the driven pulley and this is going to start first and this is going to run it so automatically there exists an more gap the belt can go inside and automatically speed will go and the vehicle will be now running with uh, some low speed or take it as some 100 rpm or take uh, on its try to take in speed it is running with uh, 10 kilometers per hour now slowly in this uh, cvt what happens is uh, in high speed automatically now you can see here the pulley is open okay so now the pulley is open automatically this will rotate with less speed and it can rotate with 10 km per hour so whenever the driven pulley this driven pulley is at a high speed automatically due to this spinning action this wheels comes to the closer and automatically the belt gets tighten up whenever the distance between this is increased the belt gets tighten up and the driven pulley gets open automatically this will run with the highest speed so this low to high and high to low transmission continuously happens or continuity it is variable so vehicle we can move from 10 km per hour to maximum 80 km per hour and automatically we can come from 80 km per hour to 10 km per hour this only the, all the action happens within the screen okay so now here you can see here this is uh, fully tightened okay whenever it is fully tightened automatically you can see here this opens automatically this can run with reduced speed so here we have the belt system so when it is running with the uh, higher system so this is nothing but we are discussing about this uh, uh, driven pulley okay so whenever this driven pulley you can see here under low resolution it gets open automatically the gap between this is too less automatic the vehicle will try to run with less speed and you can come, come to here uh, this gap between this decreases and automatically this try to drive with higher speed automatically the this the spring gets compressed automatically the gap increases you can see here the gap is increased and the vehicle will move with higher speed so this happens continuously that's why it is called continuous variable transmission by using this continuous variable transmission you can have two inputs and or you can match an electrical vehicle speed with the speed of an ic engine these are the possibilities next one is torrential variator here you can have this is input and this is output and these are the roller balls by using these roller balls we can connect one input to another output so this is called torrential variator this is for the small vehicles so by using these three types of planetary gear system or it's called epicyclic gear system we can match the performance of an ic engine with respect to electric motor 
Okay, let's try to understand how these things are going to work. Now we are going to draw the equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit of our. So at the top you are going to have ring gear. In the center you are going to have carrier gear, and inner you are going to have the speed of the ring gear. So you are going to have inner is ring gear, center is carrier gear, and the outer is nothing but a sun gear. Okay. So we are going to classify, or we can take it as the equivalent circuit. In the equivalent circuit, you can see here the same matching is done here. So you are going to have at the center you are going to have very simple to understand. At the center you are going to have carrier gear, and the ring gear is nothing but comes first. Second one is nothing but the carrier gear, and the sun gear is present at the center. Okay, this how this uh, sun gear, or you can call this as uh, the center gear. Okay, so this is what the equivalent circuit. Uh, now let's try to understand how these three speeds are linked. Okay, so now we are going to write down the speed of the sun gear is n s, and the speed of the ring gear is nothing but n r. That is equal to the speed of the carrier gear. Okay, this if you add the speed of center, I mean center gear and the speed of the ring gear, then you can get the carrier gear. So how we are going to get the relation is here, N S plus this is empirical computational derivation for this. So K into N R is equal to K plus one into N C. So this is the core relation between sun gear, ring gear as well as carrier gear. So now, how we are going to define the k? Okay. So here, k is defined as a, it is the ratio between sun the speed of sun gear minus the speed of carrier gear divided by the speed of carrier gear. Okay. So this is called basic gear system, or we are going to call it as a epicyclic. Basic ratio. Okay, K is called as epicyclic gear ratio, which is called speed of sun gear minus carrier gear divided by carrier gear. So that's how this sun gear, ring gear, and carrier gear are interlinked. Now let us try to see the configurations or epicyclic input and output. Relation. This is very very important uh, to understand. Okay, so now this plays a major role in understanding uh, the relationship between sun gear, carrier gear, and ring gear. So now we are going to discuss the epicyclic gear input and output relation ships. Let's try to take the classification. Here you have configuration, and here you have directions. Here we have the grounded port, and here you have input port, and here you have output port. Now let's we'll try to link each other. So we will continue in the next video. So if you feel the content is useful, so please like our channel, share our channel with your friends, and if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. And this is a free channel for the benefit of students and faculty. Please subscribe the channel to us. Faithfully wrong. We'll meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you both for watching.